More than 80 marine species have been found off the Sussex coast, including the critically endangered taupe shark and the European eel. Sussex University recorded them across several underwater sites between Shoreham-by-Sea and Selsey, and their areas where trawling was banned three years ago, as our science correspondent Martin Stew reports. A spotted ray gliding through the water. But this isn't the Caribbean coast. It's the English Channel. It was filmed by scientists from Sussex University. For a year, they've been monitoring the water at 28 sites along the coast. Waterproof cameras attached to bait traps capturing 81 different species, like this cat shark. Genetic sampling is being used too for creatures tougher to ID than this camera-loving conger eel. Environmental DNA are kind of like the fingerprints that we find in the environment. So here we're looking at the sea, so we get a water sample, and in there there are tiny microscopic bits of scales and all of that that contain the DNA of different fish and animal species. So then we're able to compare the videos and the species detected on the environmental DNA and create a bigger picture of the species we've got along our coasts. The reason for the research is the seabed beneath this boat. Once a thriving kelp ecosystem, it was battered by the great storm of 87 and has struggled to grow back whilst being extensively fished. To try and give that the best chance of recovering, a huge marine conservation zone has been introduced, stretching for 300 square kilometres off the south coast. The idea is if you stop trawling, the kelp can grow back and we find even more species in the future. To justify conservation on this scale needs evidence. Sampling found just a few months after trawling stopped, critically endangered European eels and taupe sharks. You can just make one out here in the distance, living in the protected zone. It is absolutely key to have an idea of what we find at what we like to call time zero, when it's at its most depleted stage, in order to then observe how it changes over time and then try and detect any signs of recovery. Sea bream and mackerel were also discovered. Scientists will now repeat the studies annually to test whether this conservation zone really does offer a ray of hope. Martin Stew, ITV News, The Channel.